G'day guys, we're out toy hunting today on the hunt for some WWE stuff. We're going to hit up three stores in this video. Please give it a subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get out there and see what they've got. There really hasn't been much on the shelves. Let's have a look at this first store. Have a look at this. Just two measly figures on the actual st uh, rack here. Can't believe it. Just two Scarlets just hanging there. Anyhow, that's how it's been lately. So I have had to head out of town almost, almost interstate, I should say. We're headed out to Hamilton to a little toy shop at Toy World. And I'm happy to say I can see down here they've got quite a bit on the shelves. So let's get down here and check it out. They've got the kids' belts, of course, a couple of the uh, championship showdown figures. Here's uh, Booker T, or King Booker, I guess, there. Bobby Lashley, I like that set there. A few others here, pretty cool. They've got a... Oh, hang on a sec. Now, this is what I want to see on the shelves. The Warlord, the Powers of Pain Warlord. Have a look at this. This is the collection, uh, the collector's edition, I guess, from the series. Pretty rare. Pretty happy to see it on the shelves. I'll put that down there. I reckon I'll grab that one. What else have they got here as we sort of look through? Uh, now, this Jeff Hardy. Have a look. Guys, I don't know what it is. There's something about this figure that just doesn't seem right. Series 84, is he meant to have the blue face paint as opposed to the red? There's just something that's not gelling when I look at this figure. And um, it's a great figure, by the way. He's almost in the attire he wore in his AEW debut this week. And uh, that's fantastic. Uh, having a look through here, a few other figures. They've got plenty of this Jeff Hardy, um, which is strange as well. He usually flies off the shelf, doesn't he? Uh, Kofi Kingston, pretty cool figure here, comes with the SmackDown title, of course, uh, a Fiend figure, yeah, with that freaky uh, lantern of his, I uh, wonder if we'll ever see him again, hard to say, isn't it, really? Uh, as we flick through here, a few other figures, ah, a bit of a blast from the past, Roman with the red Universal Championship title belt, and uh, probably... Looks too happy there to be, that was probably before his heel days, of course. And uh, oh yeah, here we go, Buddy wants to have a look at this one. Uh, as we continue, yeah, a few other things back here, pretty cool. They've got, uh, I'll get things a bit tidy, they like it when I do that. But um, getting back, of course, to this um, Jeff Hardy, I'd buy this figure, I think it's awesome. But the one fault it's got is he's got those freaky eyelids where he draws the eyeball on the eyelids and he freaks me out when he does that in real life I really don't think I could have a, a figure on my shelf of that it's just too weird um, now this here we go this is something we do not see on our shelves here in Australia and this is of course the ultimate edition figures the rock there look at all those accessories Chain, interchangeable heads, hands, shirts, they've got the belt in there, and uh, the John Cena one as well, this has to be probably the best Cena I reckon I've ever seen, have a look at that, uh, the cap, the shirt, fantastic, I have a feeling we might leave with this one today, I know Buddy has got his eye on this one for sure, um, but uh, we'll just get those back on the shelf. They've got a bunch of uh, basics here, WrestleMania basics. Andrade, I've said it before in videos, I've held off on buying this one because I want an AEW version. And Jazzwares have just released images of a new Andrade figure, and I'll hang out for that one here. This is a pretty good Jeff Hardy. Uh, great figure there from the Elite range. Uh, this is a more recent Roman Reigns, of course, with the head of the table shirt. Uh, pretty cool there. Another... <laughs> Blast from the past here. Look, a big Cass figure. He's doing all right in Impact Wrestling, isn't he? As Jay Morrissey or whatever he is, W. Morrissey or something. Uh, Polo Cruz, pretty cool. Uh, Candice LeRae, I think here. I don't know much about her. Pretty cool figure. I like the colours. Great colours in there. Flicking through here, a uh, Oscar figure. Haven't seen her in a while. She hasn't been around, but yeah, pretty cool figure. Cool mask. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. Lots of colours on that one. Uh, Braun figure there. Uh, oh, up the back here. Haven't seen one of these before. I like this figure of Santos Escobar. I like the um, the mask there, and uh, that's pretty cool. All right, sorry about that. A bit, bit of blur there. But uh, <laughs> here we go with the um, wrestling ring, and that has come with the sort of interchangeable apron as well. The old Stretch Armstrong style AJ Styles. Some more uh, elites as well. We've got Goldberg there. China and 
and Slappy, Slappy's in there as well from Goosebumps. They've got a Slappy figure. I can't believe it. Uh, and of course, the, I like this Randy Orton figure as we just get that in focus there. Great tattoo work, great sort of physique. I like that figure. That's pretty cool. But um, yes, they certainly have a lot on the shelves here today at the Hamilton Toy World. Very, very impressed. And if you ca in, in case you're wondering, yes, there we go. There's a post-shop visit, and we did get that John Cena. All right, we're moving on to another store here, back at my local Target. Let's have a bit of a look here what they've got. They do have some Elites. I think it's Elite 87 down here. Um, pretty good. We saw some of these in Hamilton, but here we go, Oscar and I. I reckon she's going to show up at either WrestleMania or the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. There's my prediction. Apollo Crews, pretty cool figure. I just do not like the new US Championship title belt. I loved the old one. It really reflected the old glory colours. But look at that. Terrible. Uh, Liv Morgans, we've seen these on the shelf many times. Uh, Santos Escobar, another figure here. Love the mask. Love the black NXT or 205 Live title, I guess. I don't know much about it, but they, it was purple, wasn't it? Anyhow, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, sifting through here, what have they got back here? Uh, another Liv Morgan. Uh, the Back to the Future guy. <laughs> uh, this Braun figure is pretty cool. It's just such a big figure. You know, these are the fun ones to play with because you can just smash through your opponents when you're that big. Wonder if we'll ever see Braun Strowman back in the WWE. Hard to say. Um, another Candice LeRae, we commented on that one, pretty cool colours, I, I don't think I've ever seen her wrestle, so I don't know what she does, uh, here we go, this is a pretty cool figure of Otis, of course, when he had his singles run, and, um, whoops, just like I've dropped that figure there, I really think the WWE dropped the ball with Otis as a singles competitor, they could have had him as a real fan interactor, like your Hacksaw Jim Duggan type fan favourite and audience favourite, but no, they've put him in the worst tag team I think we've ever seen with uh, that um, terrible, anyhow, a couple of basics there as well. And just before we head off, here we go. These figures, I was never going to get them on the shelves, so I had to board, order them online. Full-on 80s-style WrestleMania Hulk Hogan. How good is this figure? I've bought two. They're absolutely awesome. I'll open one, and one I'll keep in the packet, I reckon, because they just look so good. They're absolutely fantastic. Yes, well, happy with those and um, happy with all the hunts at the moment. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. I've got over 100 subscribers at the moment. If you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could. And please give it a like. Take care.